sport fans all set for another roller derby game and we have the Chiefs against the Jolers. The Chiefs in the white shirts with the stripe on the shoulder the stripe just above the elbow and of course the Jolers in the striped jerseys. Well the score at the present time the Jolers 20 the Chiefs 15 and the girls are going to take over for the next skating period. Contact made the only known sport where men and women are placed on an equal basis where there's an offense and a defense there's Coach Gammon right before us down there in the infield talking to one of the players but let's watch the girls action now as we're all set to go nice crowd on hand so get set for the action referee up on the track signals the players to get ready to go and as you saw in the demonstration hands can start any time that both teams have an equal chance of breaking on and there's a break in the first jam is on in the seventh skating period out front now it's Carol Seifert in the striped shirt number 71 for the Jolers followed by Gloria Mack Number 25 moving in for the white shirted chief team. So we've got one member of each team on the jam moving around the big oval. Remember, they've got a circle of track from the back of this pack we're looking at right now and pass a member of the opposition within two minutes' time because of a two minute time limit in all jams. And a lot of hooping and howling out here by these fans tonight. Well, that's that kind of a game. You got blocking, body contact, roughness, speed, and the old bent plate on a bank track. On official roller derby skates, hey, things are bound to happen. Up in front of that pack, Gloria McAuliffe blocking back on Blanche Lopez. These two move in. Back in white, number 25, hits up on Seaford, slows her down. Seaford along the rail, but she's okay. All right, now Gloria Mack driving, taking that advantage. Up ahead of Seifert now, moving in to the back of the pack. And Lulu Palermo back to the block out. Palermo on the defense in the stripes, trying to stop up this girl. Number 29 it is, and it's Mack through there. We call it 25, it was Mack, number 29, scoring one of the score now. Chiefs 16, the Jolers 20. Well, there's the huddle of the Chief men's team. They're getting set for the next big period coming up, which will be the final, but we got plenty of time left in this girls field. So it was Gloria Mack, number 29 of the white-shirted Chief team, who beat Seifert in there for a point, passing Lulu Palermo, and we're all set to go. Bad spill, hey, look out. That's Mack, number 29, down, and Gene Gammon is talking to her there. Mack, the gal that just scored on the last jam, hurt as she tried to start another jam. And the fans are very excited about this. Look at them stand up and watch. A good close-up of Gloria Mack. And there's a trainer, Albiani. It's a rough and tough game. You've got to be in good physical condition to play in roller derby. Gloria trying to shake it off. There's a real close up of Gloria Mack. Number 29 of the Chiefs trying to shake that injury off. She's all right, but she'll stay out of the lineup for just a bit. All right, jockeying four positions. Dean Porter up front, Porter number 69. Indian gal out for the Jolers, followed by Jerry Murray. Great star of the Chief team. Murray and Porter on this one. On the inside, hits Porter high. Well, you got two veterans of the back track fighting this one out. Murray and Porter, both very fast. In fact, two of the fastest in the game on the move. Locking the front of that pack, we see that uh, number 29, Gloria Mack, who was spilled in that last play, is up and in the lineup again. She's all right. And good blocking in the front of that pack. There's Carol Seifert trying to come out. But back to the jammers. Here's two gals that can fly on those skates. Porter hits up on Murray. Murray takes it, loses a little ground, but keeps driving. Out of pack action. Team Gammon down there, coach for the Chiefs, talking it up on this side. Carol Seifert up in front of the pack, but here comes Porter with that smooth style. Moving in there, Murray right behind her. Murray and Porter battling it out. Murray hits up on Porter. Look out, Gene. Hey, she's down. So it started out to be a two-player jam with Porter and Murray on the move. Winds up with only Murray able to score now because Porter was knocked down by this gal, Jerry Murray. So let's see what Murray can do. Murray moving in now. Porter up and back into the pack, waiting back at a block out. There's Gene Porter, number 69, back to slow up on Murray. Watch this play. If Murray and White can pass this gal in stripes, she'll score. Crowd up out of their seats. Here's two champions battling it out. Nice block by Porter. Murray trying to get through there. Porter slowing her. Murray 
with tie stop. Hit in there and still can't get by. Porter hits again. Murray's down. No score. Rubbery blow that whistle. No score in the play. And the score, Joler's 20, Chiefs 16. Now there's a good picture of the overall track at Roller Derby. If you were sitting here in person, you would be right up close to that rail, looking over into the action on the big 18 lap to a mile track. But your seat right now is pretty good, too. All right, fast break out of the front of the pack of Blanche Lopez in the white, moves out for the Chiefs. Chiefs in the white shirts, Jolers in the striped shirt. Carol Seifert out for the Jolers, so there's Seifert, the blonde, wearing number 71 on the back of that striped jersey. And up there with her, number 28, Blanche Lopez in white for the Chiefs. So we got one member of each team on this one, and they're moving fast. Lopez and Seifert fighting it out. Back to the pack now. Let's watch this pack because that's like the line of scrimmage in football. Everything starts in the front of the pack. Everything has to wind up the back end of the pack. If you're wondering why these gals are rocking and socking, it's because if they can knock the opponent down in the pack, those players could be passed for a score. Hey, Seifert's down. Carol Seifert knocked out of the play, and Blanche Lopez of the Chiefs moves it all alone. Here comes Blanche, the only Spanish gal skating in roller derby competition. Boy, she's a cutie, and she can go. Look at her bend around those turns. Now Lopez coming in the back of the pack, the striped Jolder team strictly on the defense. And Lopez in white would get a point for every one of the striped players she could pass. Moves in on Murray now. Her teammate, Murray's going to try to help her. Murray whips her, comes in on Porter. Watch Lopez, pass one. Keeps driving, pass two. Trying to get more points. Blanche Lopez moves in, passes three. She's got three points. Comes in now on Gloria McCullough. Back at a block out. Hits up, slows down. Porter's down, but not until she got three points. The official's hand goes up in the air. Three points for Blanche Lopez of the Chiefs. There's Gammon up there, patting Lopez on the back. Jerry Murray over congratulating her. And it was Murray who started that play, and a great one. Lopez to pass three of the striped shoulders for three points. And the score now, shoulders 20 and the Chiefs 19. Well, this Chief team has really bounded back here in the skating period. Of course, this is the last skating period of the girls. We've got a big men's skating period coming up, so it's anybody's game yet. Jolers losing their lead. They've only got a one-point lead now, and the girls take over again. Here's a play from Joan Hill in white with the hair ribbon. Over to Annie Calvello, and Calvello's on the move. Calvello, a great offensive star, hails from San Francisco, California, skating for the Chiefs. Boy, this Chiefs uh, team has really shown an offensive in this skating period with the Jolers trying to get back in there for some scores, but still can't do it. Nice block in there by Murray, number 22, taking out the great Tuffy Brazil, number 60 in strikes. Tuffy trying to get around there. Murray taking her out. Block after block. Look at these gals go to it. Oh, watch out there, Tuffy. He didn't like it. Great blocking by Murray. Annie Calvello keeps moving in. Calvello coming in the back of the pack now. Annie Calvello would get a point for every one of the striped Jota players she would pass. Watch it now. Calvello coming in the back of the pack. Murray back to the block out. Or rather to assist offensively. And Porter back to the block out. 69 trying to block. No, she can't do it. Calvello gets one. Moves in. And he's trying to get more now. Drives in, passes two. Coming in on Dottie Sack, number 62. Pass three, she's got three points. Drives in, Tuffy hits her. Throws her down. Calvello keeps driving. And she's passed four and hit in there. Knocked down by Tuffy. Four points for Ann Calvello with the Chiefs on a beautiful play as the Chiefs team goes wild out here offensively at the roller derby. Oh, the Chiefs fans are happy. And the score now, Chiefs 23, Jolers 20. They've had a great night out there. How about you? Well, this looks like a bunch of dejected Jolter fans. They thought their team was going to win. They led most of the game, but it wasn't in the cards for the Jolers to take this one as the Chiefs bounded back with that beautiful two-pointer by Freddie Noah to wrap it up with the final score, 26-24. Chiefs beating the Jolers.
Well, there's Gavin talking to one of his teammates and the star of the night, Annie Calvello of the Chiefs. 21 years old, birthday August 1st, hometown San Francisco, California, height 5 feet 6, weighed 126 pounds. Eyes Hazel, joined the Roller Derby August 25th, 1949 at Oakland, California. Her hobby likes to travel. A real fine gal always wears the big earrings and a locket around her neck. Annie Calvello, it's a real star we're looking at. Well, until next time, this is Ken Lydell saying, we'll see you at the Roller Derby.